Okay, ready? Three, two, one, launch. Okay, three, two, one, let go. You might not need to give it more string. Give it more string. <laughs> All right, pull on the string. Here it comes down. You don't have to yank very hard. Just keep it within the yard. <laughs> and down it comes. So for this project, I was testing how Space Blanket would handle in my thermal projects. Um, it's something that in emergency situations, I use Space Blanket. In emergency situations, it's really supposed to hold in heat. And so what I wanted to see was if I used it with a thermal inflator, would it melt? How would it, you know, handle? Could I, you know, can I use tapes with it? Uh, I found out that glues don't work very well with it as far as like, uh, if it has to evaporate like a water-based glue, it does not work well with it because it, uh, it acts as a moisture barrier. Um, I did this small launch. I felt it was a success. And when I did my uh, SpaceX rocket balloon, uh, it actually, that's why I ended up going with this material because I, I found that it worked actually very well. So um, I will continue to use Space Blanket in my different projects as I move along. So Space Blanket is actually very lightweight. Um, I had a lot of fun with this small one. I will start to include some of my other tests as I do them. Uh, I think it's important before you do any uh, large-scale projects that you do a lot of small so what I do is I do a lot of small like testing like uh, destruction testing um, again I'll because in this particular case I'll, I'll test it with fire so I'll actually just cut small strips of stuff and light them on fire see how they react hold the flame away how much heat can they handle how much weight can they carry uh, overall space blanket is very impressive I'll probably continue to use it so I do have some further testing I do want to try. Um, I want to try mixing the space blanket with paper, uh, doing some sort of mixed things.